Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why it's that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to hide prices on collection page in Shopify. So if you want to hide the prices for products in collection pages for your Shopify store, this video will help you out to do so. And we will do that again without using any apps or anything like that. And with very short code, and actually it's just one line of code. Yes, one line for, of code will do the trick and will work for every Shopify team. So whatever, if you're using down team or any uh, Shopify team, uh, this trick will work for you. And in this demonstration, I will be using down team, but I did test it on sense team again and refresh team, and it works for, for them just fine. And you might already know that this options like hiding prices and do the little things on Shopify team customizer, you can't actually do that from the team customizer. You can't do that from anywhere on the team settings on the Shopify dashboard. So in order to do the little things like this, you need to add a specific code that will do the specific thing you want. And that's why I do videos like this on my channel. I made a lot of videos when it comes to customizing your Shopify store, making it unique and branded. For example, the Shopify store that you see right now in front of me, is the team that I do all the demonstration on. And everything you see on the Shopify store right, right now, I did them in videos, including the video banner right here, as well as the transparent header and video is playing underneath it, and the hover effect for the menu, as well as the removing the underlines uh, below the menu when you hover over them with the mouse, as well as adding all the tracking page on your Shopify store, and a lot more actually. All the things, I did them in videos, tutorials, and for free, and the code is always available in the description box. And that the only thing I'm asking for is just a like, please, for the sake of this said emoji right here. So in this video, as I said, I will show you how to hide the prices for products from the collection page easily without using any apps or anything like that. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. But before we start, please, if this video helped you out, Help me out placing the like button, I would really appreciate it. And let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, I do have this collection, which has the best selling products. And as you can see, uh, each product has the price beneath it, as you can see, for each product. So I will do the trick and we will come back to this collection page and reload the page and the prices should be gone, just like you see right now. So you can witness right now, the prices are visible and afterwards they shouldn't. So let's just get back to the Shopify dashboard right here. The next thing you're going to do is click on online store from here, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code right here. And it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify store. The next thing you're going to do is head over to assets folder at the bottom of the page right here, simply click on it and it will show you a bunch of files in here. And you will need to access this one right here, which is component uh, dash car dash CSS, just like you see on the screen right now. So make sure to access this one. There is a lot of components files in here, but make sure you do access component dash cart dot CSS. So let's just uh, click on it and it will show me a bunch of code in here. And as I said, you don't have to edit any code or anything like that. I will provide you with very short code that will do it real quick and again I will provide you with my support so even if you have any issues or it didn't work for you or anything like that just drop me a comment I will be happy to help you out so the next thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page right here and uh, make sure you do access a new line uh, nothing on it after that scroll down the description box and you will see again as always a link name it as code Simply click on it and it will take you to this page where you're gonna see a one line of code, as you can see. So I did lie, as you can see, one line of code that will do the trick of completely uh, hiding or disabling the prices from the collection page for the products. And obviously the next thing you're going to do is right click and copy. After you did copy the code, get back again to the code editor right here and simply paste it at the bottom of the file and make sure you do paste it at the bottom of the file, otherwise it will not work. So let's just paste it in here, then let's just save the changes, and after the changes will save it, let's just get back to the collection page, which is this one right here, the best selling products, and as you can see, the prices are visible. So I will reload the page and the prices should be gone. So let's just do that and see if it will work or not. And it will actually, because I know it does. And here we go. Where is the prices now? They are gone. 
there is no more prices underneath the products but if you do access the product for example let's just access this one it will show me the price on the product as you can see so this is only for the collection page just like the title says if this is not a clickbait and as always i do work for you so if you have any issues with this or anything like that so drop me a comment i will be happy to help you out but for now that's how you hide the product prices from the collection page on your shopify store and if you have any questions any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one